I take back what I said about the dress being my favorite piece of this haul so far. Today, I'm going to be bringing you along with me to the thrift store. We're just gonna do a little thrift with me video. I don't really have anything in mind that I need or want to find specifically. I would love to find a couple dresses for springtime, but it's also still kind of on and off hot and cold here. So I am very open-minded and I'll look in jackets and sweaters and dresses and tank tops and everything. Also, in advance, I'm really sorry if I don't get very good clips in the thrift store. I know I'm gonna come back and do like a try on show it to you haul but it's really busy at that store and i feel like everyone is just constantly running into each other anyways and so if i don't get very many clips in the store i promise i'll show everything tried on and all of that at home because i can't promise what's gonna happen in store anyways i'm gonna stop talking and we're just gonna go so thank you guys for watching and see you soon Okay, so I've only been here long enough to just do the shoe and bag section really quickly, and this is what I grabbed so far. Found these vintage Rampage cheetah print kitten heels in like a baby pink. I also found these really pretty made in Italy vintage J. Crew kitten heels. The little buckle that I love, so I grabbed those. I saw these too with the beading, and I just thought they were so pretty and interesting that I had to grab those too. They're by Unlisted little heels with some pink on them. Then I also snagged myself some Air Forces. Just because I don't have any, I never got a pair. And I feel like they just go with everything. I'll probably put them on later. Okay, and then for bags, I just grabbed this vintage Guess Monogram mini bag. I got this because I've had it before. It's this little Victoria's Secret suede mini bag with like the lingerie lace detailing. And then I just got this cute little pink mini bag because I feel like it just kind of gives Y2K vibes and it would look very cute with like a baby tee and some jeans. So I grabbed those and that's what I have so far. So now we're gonna go venture off into the rest of the store. Okay, so in the lingerie section, I found this really pretty free people slip dress. It's black, sheer floral, and it's a size four. Love that with the pretty lace detailing, so I'm grabbing that. And then I also found this vintage gold label Victoria's Secret Teddy slip little number in this really pretty blue. So I'm also going to grab that, and that was the slip section. And the men's sweaters so far, I grabbed this really cute blue, super, super vintage heritage knit sweater. I love that one. I think I might keep that one. Then I also just grabbed this one because I love the multicolor knit and it's kind of chunky and would look super cute with like khaki pants and some sneakers. Maybe the Air Forces I grabbed too, so I'm going to grab both of those. Okay, I just went through all of the dresses in the dress section. I didn't find too many, but I did get a couple. I got this black midi. It's kind of like a layered black midi dress with the black ribbon that I really like. I just liked this for myself. It's kind of like a milkmaid, little floral print, little mini dress, and I just thought that was super cute. This one is my favorite piece that I've found so far. It's this vintage Ann Taylor silk midi dress in the prettiest blue and green floral print with really cute cami straps and a little bit of a cowl neckline. So I grabbed that one. And then the last one I grabbed was this vintage express little midi dress that's kind of like a hibiscus floral print with a halter neckline and I love that one. So I'm gonna grab that too. And now we're probably gonna head over to sweaters. I forgot there was one more section of dresses that I didn't go to and I'm glad that I stepped over and did because I found this really pretty brown, black, and white midi dress with a pretty little ruffle. And then this one is insane. I'm not gonna get it because it's a little too big for me. Actually, it has the brand new $115 tag on it. I actually might get it and I think I'm just gonna try and make it work because it's so pretty. It's pink and green floral silk beaded like gown dress by Eva Blue. I don't know where I'm going to wear this, but I'm going to figure it out, I think. I've decided in the time that I've been showing you because it's so pretty. So I'm grabbing both of these, and now we're gonna do sweaters. Okay, this is what I have so far. I think it was supposed to be in the dress section, but it's this hand knit, purple, tan, and maroon long sleeve dress. And 
I just feel like this with some like knee high brown boots is going to be a 10 out of 10. I really like the material on this and it's kind of a weird color. It might be weird on my skin tone, but I really like the button sleeve. And it's kind of hard to see the color, but it's like this mustardy tan. So I think I'm going to grab that too because it's really soft. And maybe with like a black little skirt and boots, it'll be cute. Also, just on this leather suede jacket. It has the cutest little fur neckline. So I'm going to grab that too. Um, I'm a little worried because there's not a price on it, which means it's probably going to be jacked up really expensive. Or they just won't sell me it, but I love that. And I'm going to grab it just in case. I take back what I said about the dress being my favorite piece of this haul so far. This is my new favorite. It is Vintage Venus. Look at the tag. But it looks just like Vintage Poochie. And so I had to grab it. I'm so excited to put that with like a white top and little kitten heels like the ones I showed you at the beginning. I also, in the skirt section, found this really pretty black and purple mini skirt. This really fun cheetah print, little ruffle midi skirt. And lastly, I got this vintage XOXO floral print midi with like little polka dots. So that was fun, and that was the skirt. Sorry my filming is so choppy today, everyone. I promise I'm gonna take all of that, and when I get home, I'm gonna do like a sit down try on haul and show you everything because I know I'm not doing the best today. It's just really busy right now. But in the shirts, this is all I really grabbed. This is Veranda, veranda, not sure. Brown, orange, and tan sequin mesh top that I love. That with like a black skirt or jeans is gonna be so cute. So I'm gonna get that. And then we have a couple more aisles and then I'm probably gonna head back home. Browsing through lingerie, I found this. Insane mesh gingham Betsy Johnson bralette. And I just am obsessed with this. It's so cute and it has this little charm and green on it. I feel like that's gonna be so cute for spring with like jean shorts and an open cardigan or something. And it's my size. Okay, so not my size and not really what I'd be willing to pay for these. So I'm not gonna get them, but it is fun to find new with tags Urban Outfitters at the thrift store. And those pants are really cute. They're just like classic black lounge ribbed pants. So I like those, but I did get these Vintage Express, maybe Y2K, I have to check the tag again. But they're just like black pinstripe low rise workwear pants. And those are going to go so cute with my OG BFF baby tee that I just got. So I grabbed those. Okay, you guys, this is the final cart. I've sorted through everything. I think most of it I'm gonna end up getting. Now I just have to go wait in line over there, check out, head home, and I will give you guys a little haul. Okay everyone, I just got back from the thrift store. I have all of my bags here, and I'm gonna do a little haul slash try on. I have them all right here, so I'm gonna be like reaching forward a lot. Okay, the first piece is one of my favorites actually, and I found it in the checkout line, going to pay for the rest. But it's this vintage USA Olympic oversized like windbreaker sweatshirt. This with like biker shorts and some sneakers, I feel like it's gonna be so cute and kind of in the model off duty vibe that I always like to shoot for. You have this top that I showed you guys in the store and I'm gonna pair this with a black skirt and some boots and a mini bag. And I feel like that's just like a good in between winter slash spring piece to have. I got this really cute green pattern button down. Also kind of reminds me of Poochie and I feel like this with like a white tank and a skirt or jeans or whatever is just gonna be really good for spring and summer just because I love the print and the colors. I got this Wilson's leather jacket. You just can't go wrong with a leather jacket. You can never have too many. And this one is a large, but it definitely gives like a small oversized feel. And that just goes with everything, and I love that because it's so kind of chilly in Florida, so I have something to wear now because I did it the other day. I got my sweater dress that I showed you guys. I'm so excited to show this on with the boots that I have. It is so unique. Someone really spent a lot of time sitting and hand making this, so 
I am very lucky that I was able to find it. It looks just like the stuff that I've been saving all over my Instagram. And I don't know what the brand is called. Hope. I'll, I'll put it in here. Hope something. And it's just fun knit pieces. And I feel like you can't really go wrong right now with a crochet knit piece. Next, I got this pink v-neck vest. Um, it's just very basic. But I'm going to do that with jeans or a jean skirt maybe and a bag. And it's just a fun color. I feel like it's perfect for spring outfits. My gorgeous silk dress. I feel like dresses like this are just so good because you could wear them to brunch, a wedding, lunch, to shop. It just changes the shoes, changes the bag, and it literally is perfect for everything. And I'm obsessed with the colors. Okay, this one, hear me out, looks a little bit like scrubs right now. But I'm going to do what I was put on this earth to do. And it's chop the bottom off and make it like a peplum baby doll top. And that with jeans and... A little bag would be so cute. I love the pattern. It's this really light purple floral. And once I crop it, I think it's gonna be really cute. Then we've got our Express Halter Midi. It's so pretty. I love this. It's very summery slash springy. So I probably won't pull this one out for a little while, but the pattern is just so, so pretty. And I love the fit of this. I feel like that would be so cute for like a beach trip or something. Who knows? Then I have my favorite piece of the haul, and I literally don't want to give this up, but it's a little bit too big for me. It is my pink retro swirl floral mini skirt. It looks just like vintage Pucci, Amelia Pucci, and with like a white baby tee and a little button down or some sandals and a bag. It is literally like the perfect piece for spring and summer, so I just am obsessed with this. And I got this tan turtleneck. Usually I just crop the bottom off and I just like these just as a basic to wear with jeans or skirts and just layer and stay warm. I got this really pretty blue, black, and green floral baby doll dress. This is just like, I feel like you can never have too many spring mini dresses, especially once it starts to heat up a little bit in Florida. It just gets hot and you don't want to put on pants. All you want to do is put on a dress. And I just feel like that will be perfect for that kind of day this really really pretty it's definitely not going to show the way i'm holding it up but it'll look cute in the try on it reminded me of free people it's this vintage quilted jacket and it's like this really pretty bohemian floral print and it's just like i feel like a good statement piece definitely free people vibes and so i had to grab that i got this midi dress i was showing you guys in the store that is just a little bit too dark for me i feel like i like to do more fun springy colors but someone is really gonna look so cute in that with like doc martin platform sandals mini bag of course that's all i know how to say then i got really lucky with these i got these vintage dark black lee straight leg jeans in my size and so those are just going to be a good staple piece with like baby tees camis sweaters all the time you just really can't go wrong with jeans that fit you well so these are a keep and i'm super excited to wear these all the time maybe i'll even cut them into shorts for like spring i don't know we'll see for now they're jeans and i love them i got my cute little guest mini bag with monogram print with the black leather trim got this xoxo floral print midi skirt it's sheer with polka dots and a little pretty sparkly it's hard to see that it's sparkly but it has this floral print on it and that is just like a good spring piece you put that on with a white tank and look more put together than you actually are, I feel like. That's what like floral mini skirts and dresses do for me. I feel like it's very easy, but it looks like you put a lot more effort in than you did. Then I got this blue sweater I was showing you guys in the store. It's just a good, well-made basic. I feel like with jeans, skirts, anything, this will just be a good staple piece to have. I got my Air Forces that I'm super excited about. I never caved and bought myself some white Air Forces, even though everyone has them. And I also kind of like, some people are going to disagree with this, but I kind of like that they have the worn in look to them because I just didn't want shiny white Air Forces that I wasn't going to wear in properly. They're like the perfect amount of worn in. And I feel like I'll just wear these all the time with everything. So super excited for those. Also tip, the lady at the thrift store told me to use Ajax bathtub cleaner on white sneakers. And supposedly if you use that instead of bleach, it turns them like sp sparkling white just I don't know if anyone's tried that but that's my sharing of tips for the day this one is my favorite personal piece of the day it's my cute little pink and green Betsy Johnson bralette it's fully mesh it's just so pretty and so cute 
and that with like a little white cardigan and some jeans so cute i got the fur suede jacket she was so nice and she just price matched it to the other leather jacket i had which was honestly underpriced for what it was so i was really excited and this i just feel like is very y2k paris hilton winter vibes and so i'm excited to put that with like a little mini dress and some boots then i got my little dress i showed you guys at the store this off shoulder milkmaid fit dress this with like little sandals or heels again is just one of those staple spring dresses that you just throw on and go i just really thought that was cute then of course i got some pinstripe low-rise pants but these are just like a classic workwear low-rise pant and you can never have too many of those and i got this black midi dress just a classic black dress it's just good to have you can never have too many plain black dresses because you just never know i feel like a black dress is the perfect dress for any occasion so if you're like stressed out and can't find anything to wear grab the little black dress you have i don't even know what you would call this knit sweater but this with like some baggy jeans again or biker shorts even in my air forces it's just like a good throw on piece so i got that this top i'm also going to cut the bottom off of it's like this really pretty olive green ribs long sleeve but it has this wider neckline so i'm going to cut the bottom off of that and i think that would be really fun to do with high-waisted jeans and some sandals or again a little mini score and just a good basic again you can never thrift too many basic pieces because the colors are just always so much more fun and i feel like the material is a lot thicker than what you might find in the stores right now for the basics nearing the end of the haul it was a small one today but i got this top i was showing you guys it's like super soft fuzzy long sleeve it's almost like the material that the skims robes are in and I just feel like that with my pinstripe pants or my skirt that's pinstripe that I wear in all of my pictures would pair so cute with this. And it's just cozy and cute and a good basic. My last piece of the haul is, of course, this gorgeous gown that I was showing you guys. I made it work. It is tagged to size 16, but I'm usually an extra small and it just has a different fit. It's like more of a bias cut, flowy, casual fit. And I don't know where I'm going to wear this yet, but I'm hoping someone I know will get married or something and I can just put this on and go in it. The beading on it and the pattern, everything about this, I just love this piece. That's it for my haul today. It was a little bit smaller, but I thought it would be fun to show you guys how different the pieces look. Just like on a rack as opposed to in my head with the pieces that I want to style them with. Because I think that's what makes a thrift trip more successful is looking past the item that's hanging on the rack because a lot of times the item that you're staring at is really ugly in the store and so cute at home you just have to trust your gut sometimes but that's pretty much it for today i hope you guys enjoyed watching thank you so much for coming along with me and i will see you later this week for another video love you guys bye